Welcome back friends. Now that we are displaying the shopping cart, we are telling every item that has been purchased in what quantity it has been purchased and the unit price for that particular item. It is very logical for us now to complete this project by also showing the total price for every item and the grand total. Now none of this is hard. It's in fact very very logical. For example, let's say we have purchased 5 units of milkshake and each unit costs us 100 rupees. Then the total price for milkshake would be 5 times 100 which is 500. On top of that let's say we have purchased chocolate and each unit costs us 50 rupees say for the sake of argument. Then the price for chocolate would be 3 times 50 which is 150 and the grand total would be 150 plus 500. So I'm going to add the price for milkshake and chocolate to get myself the grand total. Now while the logic is very simple there are certain python related nuances that come into play. Let's look at them as we write our code. So I've come back here to you know the code that I've been writing. In fact, I had run this uh, just prior to you know recording this. Uh, previously, I'd run this. Let's say I wanted to get four quantities of milkshake and unit price of milkshake was say 99.99. Now, like I said, what we could do is that we could say four multiplied by 99.99, and that gives me the price for milkshake alone, which turns out to be say 399.96, which seems quite reasonable. Now let's say I want to compute the same thing for ice cream. So I could do 3 times 120.99. But notice what happens. This time I get some large number with a lot of decimal places. Now why does this happen? Well, this really happens because the way the computer represents these numbers sometimes can have a little bit of let's say precision issues. So what we are getting is something which is, you know, which is showing a lot of decimal places. But think about it. In real life, do we ever transact with money in these terms right in fact we do not need to do this what we can tell you know uh, what we can do instead is that we can ask we can use this operator called round and mention how many decimal places we want to see now in this case two decimal places is just nice because that is how we interact with money uh, you know in other scenarios maybe we might need three decimal places or no decimal places at all but by round we can ask it to round it to the nearest two decimal number. And what happens here, notice if I did this, I get 362.97, which you can imagine is basically this number rounded off to two decimal places. That's why it becomes 362.97 and this is now meaningful. Now, what that means is that since we are dealing with these floating point numbers and when we try to compute these quantities, we will always use a round because we do not know which one will have this very large you know, uh, number coming out and that causes uh, strange behavior, right? So I'm going to uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use the same logic. I'm just creating a new variable here, say call it tot uh, price, and that as we had done exactly as what done here, we had done here. So I can say shopping, say quant, which is my list, say kk times let's say the unit price. So I'm going to say call unit price, and once I do this, I'm also going to display the tot price as part of the print statement. Now notice that because my loop is running, my KK keeps incrementing and hence I end up computing total price afresh for every item in the shopping cart and which is what I want. Uh, and I can display that. Now I can also display over here in the title say uh, total. Right now if I did this, uh, let's say we, you know, uh, let's say we ran this example now. So I say one, I want four units of this, let's say I want three and then say I want three units of this and then I let's say do say a six. So I'm getting, you know, um, I'm getting here milkshake and chocolate. To unit price is this much, total price this, but clearly I have forgotten to put the round here. So I can go and put like I discussed here round, uh, you know, shopping quant times unit price and Two. So this will make sure that I get only two decimal places in my answer. In fact, we can see this now. So if I let's say said there's one, two, let's say three, three, and say six. I mean those numbers don't matter. Notice now quite nicely I'm getting I bought milkshake two units and unit price was 99.99, which means the total price for milkshake alone was 199.98. Makes a lot of sense. Three units of, of uh, you know um, chocolate, unit price 89.99, and hence. 269.97. Now this is starting to make sense to our, uh, you know, our day-to-day uh, -day intuition because that's how we deal with uh, such stuff. Now, if you are sharp-eyed, you would have noticed that here the total is got misaligned with my numbers. Why did that happen? That's simply because 
we have used three steps three types as a separator for both the you know for the title as well as for the list items but clearly unit price is a much bigger string so that's causing this total to go away now of course you can try some gimmicks with respect to the total price uh, the, the separator and so on but i'll also tell you one more trick here which you can use now notice and you might recall that backslash b stands for uh, you know a backspace so what i could do is that i could create my total string by adding a few backspaces before so what is going to happen is after unit price is printed it's going to take three tabs but because of these four backslashes it's going to come back and then print total so now this if i did uh, let's say we did the same thing again so i said two and say three say two i mean it doesn't matter really if i did this notice now my total is very very well aligned with these numbers and it looks quite nice now that this much is done in fact we are almost there we can now create a grand total uh, which is basically the sum of the total prices for individual items grand total is going to behave like a score i uh, you know so I, I just create a variable let's say grand tot and i will assign it to 0.0, .0. now the reason i'm making it 0.0, is because i want to explicitly make this a floating point number because prices have decimal places and i want to ensure that grand total also becomes a floating point number now once this has been done in fact it's very simple i can come into this loop and i can say grand say you know grand tot is equal to say grand tot plus say tot price now the reason this will work is because this is just like score so previously we used to say change score by say some number here we are saying change grand price by say total price and once this loop is over i am notice i've broken the integration i'm no longer in it let me just i just put this in a single row so it becomes more clear uh, notice this was the code so i come in here i want to get out of the loop so i break the indentation and here i can say put a print and finally i can say print let's say uh, the grand total is and i can put say grand underscore dot and with this uh, my code is in fact ready we can see this working now i'm again changing the dimensions of this so it's easier to see uh, so let's say i said one say two i said four say three uh, say two and say five say three something like that and then i say six now i purchased three things but i got individual prices for each of these i also got a grand total but again my grand total is looking rather strange so i can do the same thing on my grand total uh, what i can do is that i can print it let's say i can round say grand total and again i can say print it to two decimal places only and we can see this working now so what's going to happen is that i say one say two say three two four one say five i've got an elaborate shopping list now i say i click six i purchase four things uh two two quantities milkshake two chocolate two eclairs one cupcake one uh, and i have you know the unit prices the individual prices are like this the grand total is now looking nice 521.93 which makes sense in our uh, you know from a practical point of view and you know uh, uh, and, and it completes our project as well uh, i hope this was useful take care thank you so much uh, you know there's lots of steps on this but as you can see we have gone through quite slowly uh, trying to elaborate every point in detail and trying to create visualizations where possible also trying to relate back to scratch because that helps uh, so go through this process slowly and i'm sure you'll, you'll find this activity quite rewarding take care thank you so much bye bye